Welcome back in. Today we are talking to Dr. Daniel O'Mara joining us here once again. He is a radiologist here at St. Joseph's Candler's Imaging Services here in Bluffton. Got a lot to talk about. I'm so glad you came back for us here. Thanks for having me again. Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the many services offered here. One that you're particularly involved in and one that we're going to discuss right now in this segment is called cardiac scoring. So tell us exactly what that is and why is that important? Yeah, um, cardiac calcium scoring is a helpful screening test for patients who have risk factors for coronary artery disease. And that's a process that causes stenoses or narrowings of the uh, vessels that supply blood to our heart. As coronary artery disease progresses, it can restrict the blood flow to the heart and ultimately cause a heart attack. Um, and so the goal of uh, calcium uh, scoring is to quantify the amount of plaque which causes those narrowings in the coronary arteries. And we do that by performing a quick CT scan of the heart and that shows us the calcified plaque in the coronary arteries. And basically, the more plaque that we see, the higher the patient's risk is for uh, having a coronary event like a heart attack. Wow, okay. So let's talk a little bit about the patient aspect of this. I'm sure our viewers are wondering if there is somebody that has a high cardiac calcium score, is there something that they can do to lower it and lower their risk then for a heart attack? Yeah, there are a lot of contributors to coronary artery disease, and uh, that includes factors that we can control, like uh, smoking and diets that are high in saturated fat and salt, and other factors that we can't control, uh, like advanced age and genetics. And a careful review of these factors with one's physician can result in a plan to uh, lower the risk of uh, coronary artery disease. Um, and typical lifestyle modifications include changes in diet and uh, aerobic exercise. Um, though patients with very high cardiac calcium scores uh, may need additional testing by a cardiologist to determine if the narrowings in their arteries um, have gotten so severe that they require medication uh, or even a stent to open up those vessels and improve, uh, improve the blood flow to the heart. Wow, a lot of factors here. Let's talk a little bit more about the provider side of things. So you as a radiologist, you must work closely with other types of specialty physicians, and that's really an interdisciplinary approach that seems to be important. Talk to us a little bit more about that and why it's so important. Yeah, it's, um, you know, as radiologists at St. Joseph's Candler, we feel very lucky to be able to work with the fantastic group of cardiologists and cardiothoracic surgeons and um, lots of other physicians uh, in the region. Um, and we're very grateful that they entrust the care of their patient to us. And in return, we strive to provide uh, the best possible service, and that includes providing uh, detailed and data-driven uh, and timely interpretations of uh, patient scans to these physicians so that they can make um, the best possible decisions for their patients and keep them healthy. Um, we also uh, maintain uh, very open lines of communication with our referring physicians. So in the event that um, there's uh, imaging finding that requires urgent attention, um, we will communicate directly with uh, that patient's physician uh, so that they can get taken care of very quickly. Wow, a lot goes into this here. And one of the things I think that is so exciting about really talking to the folks here at St. Joseph's Candler is just the technology that you all have. And it has advanced so much over the years in the way that you're able to take care of your patients. If you can give us just a little you know, snapshot of what might be on the horizon in terms of imaging. Yeah, as you say, um, radiology is constantly evolving and improving. Um, in the early days, that typically uh, meant improvements in uh, the technology uh, to be able to peer deeper inside the body and improve image quality, uh, all in an effort to um, improve our ability to make a diagnosis. And certainly those advancements continue. Uh, more recently, um, improvements have been made in patient comfort in medical imaging. Um, for example, uh, the time that it takes to do certain CT scans and MRIs is decreased. Um, the size of the scanner um, have increased, so it's more comfortable for patients to have their images taken. 
Um, and as I look into the future, I'm excited uh, to see uh, a variety of powerful computer programs um, that uh, are on the horizon that promise to um, uh, help radiologists make accurate um, uh, uh, diagnoses and um, help them monitor and characterize disease. Wow, well, we look forward to hearing more about that as things unfold, but this has been great. It's really given us a lot of insight into patient care and what goes on here at St. Joseph's Candler Imaging Center. Dr. Romero, thank you so much. We appreciate you, and we appreciate you. We've got more here at St. Joseph's Candler after the break, and we hope you'll stick with us.